Tupelo's newest downtown store has been opened only a few weeks. His hers, this is Ashley. And business manager Ashley Chambers is fielding lots of phone calls and helping customers. While the store specializes in antiques and collectibles and boasts a tea room, Chambers knows an appealing storefront can draw in many shoppers. It's, it's really important. We've had a lot of people come downtown. Uh, more that goes outside, waving in the wind, some flags, something that attracts the customer's attention, that tells them a little about, about what's going on. The uh, pinking out of the store recently is happening for breast cancer awareness for the Susan G. Komen Fund that's going on with the Race for the Cure. Principles for pleasing storefronts is just one of the topics that will be covered during a series of seminars for local businesses sponsored by the Downtown Tupelo Main Street Association. All over town you can make your customer feel more welcome, you know, a clean sidewalk, a bench for them to sit, a garbage can to throw their trash away. Those are small things you can do. Um, you can paint the exterior of your building, add an awning. And even well-established businesses are heeding the advice. Tupelo Hardware has been in the same location since 1941, and owner George Booth is overseeing an expansion of their world-famous storefront. I've always thought the storefronts needed to look like themselves as they historically were built, just to make the streetscape look good. Uh, the downtown uh, district needs to look appropriate to its age and time and it, it creates a historical perspective for the city's growth. The seminars are not only for downtown merchants, they're open to business owners all throughout the city. It's all part of an ongoing effort to keep shoppers in this region instead of traveling to larger cities such as Memphis and Birmingham and it's even more important as the Christmas shopping season is about to kick off. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.